My name is Lars, and I have a little project here that I'm going to tape. Uh, here is something that, it's a pergola that we had in our garden for probably 15 years or so. And this used to be as tall as this, but the bottom, as you can see, every couple years the, the wood would rot, and we had to keep cutting it off, and now it's done. It's falling apart, it's rotten, so I'm making two of these. This is uh, the finished product with, uh, I'm going to glue that on there, and that'll go in the garden. This is what the old top looked like. It's, it's, it's rotten and falling apart, so we're going to replace the two old ones with a new one. So, in just a minute, I'm, and here's all the materials. I pre-cut these out of an eight foot two by two cedar, and all these little teeny pieces here, I pre-cut them all like this, with a little angle here, so that they will fit into the wood here and have a nice tight fit because of this angle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've taken, I have what's called a compound miter saw where you can cut two angles at the same time. Because these posts here all come together from angles, I want a flat piece here so that these are all different angles. And this is, this is angled this way, this way, and this way. So when they come together, they'll be flat. And that's the next step I'm gonna do is to put these together, screw them. This is, this is what's gonna hold the top together. And then I'm going to assemble uh, one row of this here, and then I'll assemble it all together, uh, and then it'll be done. Well, so now the first part of this is to create the very top here. I'm gonna have a little piece of half inch plywood that I'm going to use as a top. This is what the top of the, this will sit right on top of that. So this is like a three, three and a half inch little square. So I'm gonna put this on here. This is where the two by four, the end of the two by fours are gonna to come together. And like I said earlier, these angles here, here's an angle, it angles this way, this way, and this way here. That way when they come together, they're all sticking out symmetrically with a flat top like this. If I didn't do that, it would, uh, I don't have a piece that's like. If I didn't do that, it, they, would, they wouldn't be able to come together in a flat spot. Okay, so now I have this piece here and I'm using three and a half inch fast tap, which is my favorite outdoor screws. Placing it on here and just drilling into it. So I'm gonna put to do my first one. Basically end up having four pieces sticking out like this, all going out four different directions. Okay? So this is where I want it. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna screw it right on here. And one Three and a half inch screw is going to be enough because this is just kind of holding the top together. Got animals all over the place here. So that's one. And the second one. Put over here. Come together here. Get out of here. That's our sha cat shadow. But he wants to get in on the action. That's two. Now I have all I also have cut we're at a double angle the bottom um, so that when they come together like this, the bottom's a little flat. Uh, in our case, we're gonna be putting this in a garden 
so it's gonna be dirt so it doesn't really matter but I thought well rather than having a weird angle bottom this way he'll be flat uh, to the ground so here comes the third one it's a little awkward because of the angles here but together like right there and I keep talking about these you want to get self tapping screws because uh, they won't split the wood basically what a self tapping screw does it has on the tip kind of like your like it basically is drilling a hole into the wood and then the then the nail just follows in a normal nail doesn't have this so it tends to crack the wood because it's trying to force its way in this is actually drilling a hole in the wood and then it so it goes in so this is a great wood uh, so you don't have to pre-drill so now I'm gonna do the fourth one It's going to go right there, which is a little, it gets a little complicated with this uh, thing here, but we'll try to get it so it, like that. Do you need me to hold it? Yeah, if you could. If you come here and just hold this just like that. Now I, there you go. It's going to want to twist. Now hold this thing up here. That's all you can do is actually hold that one. So now I'm going to put the fourth and final one in there. Okay. So now. I'm going to start by start by putting in these these side supports here and I'm just going to do one level of it instead of having you watch me screw them all in because it's just the same thing so again I have the angle here and the way you get this angle is depending on what you want to do with your you know if you have an older one like the one over here the old one I'd use use the same angle so I took this little doohickey I don't know what it's called anyway you can form it to any angle that you want and I just copied the angle so I know this works because I've got an example there so here I'm going to start by putting this in wherever these two come together I don't have any marks on there because there's only really one place that this will fit on here given uh, given the length so here again three and a half inch screws and I connect this one over here one Do the same thing over here now in this case I don't want to put uh, this one right where this one is because I have a screw going all the way in here if I screw this in here those, those screws will be right on top of each other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one a little shorter I'm gonna bring it up a little bit 
As you can see this example here, they're kind of staggered. So right now I'm just going to shorten this thing a little bit. So now, this will fit at a, at a little different, different, little different height, just so it's like an inch above or something. Need me to hold it? No. So that's what I want. And I take and bring over here. So this is going to be a little different height than this one here. In a way, it looks a little. Goofy because they're kind of twisting at this point, but once I get these things going on here, it's going to be very solid. Alright, so now, put on number three. So they aren't at the exact same height. Let's see here, the same level. See, if I put it like this, like I said, then the screw is a problem with screws. So I'm just going to go up a little bit, like right there. over here the same thing here this one's going to be a little higher like there turn that wood a little bit Flush. and then the fourth one Again, I just want something different than what this is doing. I could go way down here, but I think I'll just do it up here. And I'll cut uh, about an inch and a half off here with my saw. Like that. See that where that ends up. Yeah, that's a good spot, just so that just so I'm not on the same level as those screws. Put a couple nails in there. And that will complete this one level here. Then I'm going to just repeat what I just said this here with the other levels. Tighten it a little bit. Okay, so I have this level done here. Now I'm gonna repeat the exact same thing for level up here, down here, and all, all the way down there. I'll come back when that's done. Well, now I have assembled it all like this. Now I gotta put the top cap on there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some, uh, some, some epoxy. Here are the tops that I'm going to put on top. It has a flat bottom, so this flat bottom is going to fit right in there like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fill, put some epoxy in here, slap that on to the piece of wood here. Then I'm going to stick it upside down, let it sit and rest so that all the glue stays down here. If I were to just put this on and stand it up, some of the glue is going to seep down. This way we got all the glue right where we want it. So right now, I'm just going to mix up some epoxy. This is Gorilla. It could be any, any brand that you want. So mix this up here. Let's 
So epoxy is a combination of two different chemicals. One's a hardener, I don't know what the other one is. But you put it on a little, it stinks really, really bad. So you want to do this in a well ventilated area because it smells like stinking rotten eggs and it's just very, it's very pungent. So here I am mix, mixing it up. I'm just going to put it in this guy here. Turns out I'm going to need a little more. So what I could even do, I could just throw the whole thing squirt in here and stir it up in there. It's like a little uh, cooking thing. So now it's all mixed up. I'm just going to spread it around a couple of spots. This stuff dries really fast and it absolutely, once it's on here, it will never come apart. I don't want this thing to ever come apart. So, this will be the cap. It has a copper top on it and it's got cedar or sand sign. So I'm going to stick it on here. Okay, I could just leave it there, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip it upside down. Let gravity do its thing. Then I have these nice little, actually they're really long, these clamps. I do a little plug. Irwin Quick clamps, these are like the best clamps you can get. I didn't know that, I had bought a bunch of these and I found out these are the best clamps made. Better than DeWalt and every other kind of brand you can get. They're the only kind I have. So that's one, and then I'll do another one just like it. Okay, so I've got one glued here. Now I'm going to glue the second one. I'm using Gorilla. I really like Gorilla glue. It could pretty much be any brand that you want, but this is an epoxy that works interior, interior, exterior, whatever. And here is the cap that I'm putting on. This is a nice copper finish with a cedar box. I'm going to stick the glue in there. Put it on top of that one just like I got this one, then I'm going to invert it and let it sit. Let gravity do its thing so we get a nice tight bond. So, I'm going to mix this here on a piece of wood. Actually, I'm going to mix it in this guy here. That might be enough. And then I just mix it up. Make sure these two these two co compounds come together. Once it gets nice and cloudy, you know you're fine. At this point, I could just leave it like that, and as soon as I squish it on there, it'll spread out. So here's the epoxy right here. Now I'm gonna. Fit this on here, squish it on there, invert it, and clamp it up here so it doesn't fall over, just like that. Use one of these, I mean I mentioned earlier, Erwin clamps, these are fantastic, quick grip. Gonna just fasten this on here so this thing doesn't go anywhere. Gonna get it so it stands up. Okay, well, so here we are. Here's our pergolas finished with a, everything ready to go in the guard. There's another one. That's the old one shorter one. There you go. Thanks for watching.